Hi everyone, Pammy Pam here. I'm here to t today to tell you about The Passing Bells by Philip Roth. Rock. This is the first book in a trilogy that I'm going to be reviewing for you. There's so much I want to say about The Passing Bells. Um, it says, before there was Downton Abbey, there was Abington Priory. So yeah, that's true, but not true. I like the book. I wanted to love it, but there were parts of it that I didn't like because there's too much war in there. And I guess written by a man, I don't know if it's for men or if that's just the way that books were written in the 70s, but it's way too war heavy. I feel like between this and um, the new Masterpiece Theater, Upstairs, Downstairs, and Downton Abbey. I feel like I'm a World War I expert. I know about the Battle of the Somme and all of this stuff in France, which is fine. Not my cup of tea. I don't really care about war. So it's a lot of information when I would have rather focused on the relationships. And I think that's one of the reasons why Downton Abbey is so popular, is that there's character development. And you really understand <coughs> The relationships and in here you really only really understand the men the women are kind of secondary angelic biz bosom big bosomed creatures who fall in love on a whim or they make love on a whim and I don't know if that really happened in 1916 but eh. so there are parts of it I really loved there's the the Lord the Earl of the manor and he has all the servants or whatever but it quickly departs from that and moves into more of a war story, which really, eh, I've had enough of. Aside from that, I liked it. It was nice to be back in 19, you know, 16, 18, where things were nice and, and, and calm and different than they are now. So that part of it I liked. I would have rather have known more about Alexandra and Lydia and Ivy rather than Martin and Charles and... Fenton, whatever the names were. So, I'm looking forward to book two, which, book two of the trilogy, which is either The Future Arrived or Circles of Time. Um, I'm not too sure which one, but I can't wait to find out.